Have you ever asked yourself, do I need to use mediums in my oil painting? Are you confused about what medium you should use in your oil painting and how to apply them? In this clip, I will answer the question, what is oil painting medium? And explain the different ways oil painting medium can transform the appearance of oil paintings if you follow the right steps. Stay watching until the end to learn about what mediums are best for your painting style and ensure your paintings stand the test of time. So what is oil painting medium and why should you use it? Some people seem confused by this question when starting out with oil painting and later in this clip I will explain how to use oil painting medium but first it's important to have an understanding of different oil painting mediums and how they change oil paints in different ways. An oil painting medium is designed to alter the consistency, surface finish or drying time of oil paint. Some mediums will improve the flow of the paint whereas others will improve the application of the paint to the canvas. Some mediums can also affect the drying time of paint by either speeding up or slowing down the curing process. But before you journey down to the art store, you need to decide which medium is best for you and for that we need to look at the basics of how to apply oil paint and how it cures. The reason I say cure is because oil paint doesn't really dry as it doesn't contain water. It hardens through a process called oxidation which basically means that oil paint surface hardens. Before we move into making a decision about what medium suits the needs of our current painting project, we first need to understand the basics of how we are going to be applying the paint. If you have done any research into oil painting, you will have heard of the fat over lean rule. If you want to have good adhesion to paint layers and avoid cracking, imperfect drying and uneven gloss in your painting, then you should try to paint fat over lean. This means to paint so that each successive layer of paint is fat and contains more oil or medium than the lean layer before it. Don't be mistaken, a fat layer of paint has nothing to do with the thickness of the paint. Fat over lean refers to the amount of oil in the most recent layer of paint in relation to the dried layer below it. You also need to adhere to the principles of working thick over thin and slow drying over fast drying. This means that each layer of paint should be progressively more flexible, thicker, and slow drying than the one below it. This stops the layers from cracking as you work and can be achieved by increasing the amount of paint on the brush with each new layer. When painting, you also need to make sure you don't use too much medium. I usually try to keep it to a ratio of 20% medium, but at a push it will be 25%. You should also steer clear of using different types of mediums as this can lead to problems further into the curing process. Before we move into this section, I want to make clear that this information is based on my many years of painting and teaching and may differ from advice from other artists. I will also state that I have not been sponsored by any companies, I'm just recommending products that I use in my work. Knowing when and how to use a medium will help you to control your paint, add variety to your mark making and broaden your technique by giving you more creative possibilities. Mediums are a mixture of a combination of some or all of the following ingredients. A drying oil, a solvent, a resin and a dryer or siccative. Understanding how each ingredient behaves will help you to choose the right medium and to produce structurally sound oil paintings that are going to last. The big question is which one best suits your needs. Traditionally, linseed oil has been used for centuries by artists and is a good starting point for beginners. It's made from linseed and you can get cold pressed, which is typically a better quality of oil, or refined, which has gone through a heated extraction process. If you remember the slow drying over fast drying and fat over lean principle, you need to have faster drying, thinner layers below your slower drying, fatter layers. You also need to be conscious of the yellowing of linseed oil, which can sometimes over time result in the yellowing of your initial paint colours. You also need to ensure you take care when disposing of rags soaked in linseed oil as it can be highly combustible. Stand oil is thicker than linseed oil. It creates a tough paint film without the yellowing tendencies of refined linseed oil. Stand oil causes oil colours to flow out as they dry minimising brush strokes. It is an excellent painting and glazing medium and can be thinned with solvent and damar varnish. Walnut oil is a natural alternative to linseed oil, stand oils and solvents. 
It can be a clearer and glossier medium to work with and can also be used to clean paintbrushes. Other clear mediums include poppy oil and safflower oil. I use safflower oil to clean my brushes. Although many artists prefer to make their own mediums and have created their own recipes, I have found some pre-made brands that I prefer because they are non-toxic, but this is of course down to personal preference. There are a growing variety of fat and lean mediums on the market, but the one that I have been using for a few years now is Chelsea Classical Studios Fat and Lean Mediums. Chelsea Classical Studios Lean Medium consists of linseed oil and lavender spike oil essence, an alternative solvent for painting that is safer to breathe than turpentine. Lean Medium will thin the paint and make it dry faster and is recommended for the early stages of painting. Chelsea Classical Studios Fat Medium is a mixture of linseed oil, lavender spike oil essence and damar resin. Fat Medium will make the paint more glossy and dry faster. It is recommended for the later stages of painting. For me, these products are preferable to the mediums containing odourless thinners. Although the companies state that they are odourless, they don't state that they are toxin free. I also like the lavender smell that these products leave in my studio. They are much better than their toxic alternatives. In contrast, if you want to retain brush marks in the paint or a palette knife is being used and you want to create an impasto effect, then you will want to thicken the paint. This is usually done by mixing it with a wax or gel medium. Gel and impasto mediums are produced in a variety of densities depending on the manufacturer. Heavy gels and stiff impasto mediums will produce dramatic, sharply defined painting knife ridges, whereas softer mediums will be easier to manipulate and the edges of your marks will be rounder and a little more subtle. I don't use liquid that much because I try to paint toxin free. However, there are occasions when it is a useful medium to use because of the drying time advantage. If you want to use liquid because you want to speed up your drying process, you should take care of the safety warnings and ensure that you are painting in a well ventilated space. I prefer not to use alkyd mediums because primarily they can dry a little too fast for my work rate. However, if I'm working to a tight schedule, they can be useful. Secondly, they can be a little bit too glossy, but most importantly, I don't like the fumes. And if you're going to use them, I really would recommend that you work in a large, well-ventilated studio space. I am, however, experimenting with the new Gambling Toxin Free range, so watch this space for further information on this product as I'm currently enjoying working on this alternative to liquid and definitely find that there are less fumes, though still recommend you employ the same safety measures. Some people are happy to paint a la prima and some do this with no medium at all, but when you put your oil on the palette, you'll notice that the consistency of the paint across the spectrum of colours is very different. Some colours have quite a chunky texture, sometimes even grainy, whereas some have a smooth texture. This is mainly down to the pigment colour and the pigment to oil ratio. The amount of oil added is also related to the drying time of the pigment. As I mentioned earlier, you should follow the fat over lean rule. One way of doing this is by adding more medium with each layer. Just ensure you don't add more than 25% medium. In your initial layer, add a small amount of medium, then gradually increase the amount of medium you are adding. This second approach is the one that I recommend. However, very often I just paint my base layer with solvent and paint and no medium at all to ensure a quick drying time. The most important thing to remember is that you are increasing the amount of oil with each additional layer. The easiest way to use the medium is to add a couple of drops to each colour at the beginning of your painting session. That way it is easy to control. I have seen some artists use a brush to add medium, but have found that the colours get mixed and I personally find it difficult to control the medium this way. Finding your way around the vast array of oil painting mediums that are available and choosing the right one for your intended purpose can seem like a daunting task and this is why many artists often stick with what they know works best for them. This of course is fine and something we often do as artists but it can also be restricting and prevent experimentation. A good way to think about what mediums to use prior to beginning a painting is to consider the final surface appearance and how you want to apply the paint. Do you want paint to look glossy, matte or somewhere in between? Would you like the paint to be smooth or textured, transparent or opaque? Having some knowledge of the materials can help with your choices 
and will help you with the direction of your painting as it progresses. If you want to learn more about oil painting, then tap or click the screen. And to find out about the products used in today's clip, check the description below and hit the bell and subscribe to be notified of future content. Have a happy painting week.